All right, and we're off with the weekly pepper update. Here's the comprehensive view. Some of them are looking a little wilty. I just had to water them so they haven't quite perked up yet. But uh, it's late afternoon. I got to work early, so I'm getting this filmed as soon as possible. Try to keep it under 10 minutes this week. We'll see how that works. Uh, my axiomiums. I don't know if you can see all these under here, but uh, heavily potted. And even the second one now is starting to get quite a few on it. And here's the big one. Peruvian purple. Just, I don't need, I, I lost count of the number of pods on that one. On this other one is starting to put out some more pods, but it's not tons. It's just, you can see they're about the same size now. Zavery, like I said last week's been getting eaten by something, but it is potting up. So here's one right here, and where's the big ones? Well, big relatively speaking. There's one. So there's signs yet. Chenzos. Got a few ripe ones, but most of them still green and black. But it's lushing up. Now here, my Anaheim. This has really plumped them out since last week. Look at this. One week's growth. Just astounding. How much bigger they've gotten. And the granddaddy on this one. Big pod. Moving along. Red R.E.B.B. Gusano, you can see there's just dozens upon dozens of pods hiding on the interior of this plant. Same here. These are a little bit bigger than the regular ones, but there's tons of them. This is a really good producer. And my yellow bullets, still not much in the way of ripening. I had two ripe pods on this plant so far, but plenty dozens more to go around. And turtle's claw. You can see it's putting out a lot of little flowers now again, so it's recovered from its shock, and as you can see, it's bushing out again. It's finally bouncing back. Cantina yellow. Aha! There's the new flower on that one that's finally opened. And one of my focuses this week, Nagabons. Here's the smallest ones, and here's some big boys here. Whoop. And get through the foliage. This is like seven pods off one node, and here's another one. So yeah, those are looking good. Uh, this still not no sign of ripening on these unknowns from Baker's Peppers, but the couple hundred or so pods on this plant, upside down view, uh, are starting to get hot, and they're really nice flavor already. So once they ripen, it's going to get even better. Here's the Amazon starting to perk up, but still a few leaves here and there that are uh, kind of scorched. Bird pepper got taller again, but here's some buds that are sticking around finally. Tobago seasoning. Both of those, and then this one's finally got some flowers opening up and the pod forming right here. And another one. So cool. Peach butt. These are just blowing up. They're all getting big now, so. Very nice. Tons of them. There's a couple dozen on this one, maybe 30 pods. White butts. Kind of have to dig to look for them, but there's a few in here. And a few that don't look quite right. A couple of them do, but a few of them don't, so I don't know. And I want... I wanted to show you this on my other white butt, alleged white butt. Check out this thing. It doesn't look at all like a butt. And there's another one on here that looks suspiciously like a maruga or a brain strain. Or a few of them, actually. And there's one that was so spot on for a maruga that I'm thinking that that's got some genetics for that in it somewhere. Aha! Look at that. So, yeah. But, keeping them around, so. White Fatalis are perking up again. Pods are getting bigger. But, Bikinos. Ooh, you can see that color on there. Looks sharp contrast compared to the pale colored ones. And there's another one in there. 
So I'm glad these are starting to ripen because these, oh hey, there's even another one. Oh, whoops. Looks like I uh, pruned my bird's eye inadvertently, so I guess I'll just take, pardon the camera everybody. Dropped a pod here. Little one, but I'll eat it. Now my nursery habs, these are astounding. There's tons of them. And it's a really good variety too. I did a video of one the other day. Excellent flavor. Jamaican chocolate. Uh, I think it's too much nitrogen somewhere in there because that's just doing the same thing all over again. Pimenta de nades. Finally starting to produce a decent amount of pods. Some of them are green and some of them are black. There's a few of them on here now, so thumbs up on that. Bird's eyes are heavy producers as well. Dozens upon dozens of pods between these two plants. I don't even know how many there are, but there's a lot of them. Coriscidacame, the second one's finally starting to heavily pod, just like its sister here, which still is not uh, ripening, but it's still hanging out. Pimientos, getting bigger by the week. These ones are getting big, big. These are the big daddies right here. Ricotos, flowering up again. Got a couple pods. Um, there's the big one. There's another slight slightly smaller one. Ah, here we go. That's uh, growing along nicely. And the TC07246. Got a, quite a few on there. No ripening yet, but that's okay. Chaco ants are starting to get big and darkening. See? Lemon drops. Still going on, but not ripening yet. I had one ripe pod yesterday. It wasn't quite full flavor yet though. TOs, same thing. They're throwing out a few more flowers again. Still no ripening pods though. Monkey face has really taken off. These got huge in the last week. Look at all these big boys. Big ones too. Look at that. This one's been a, quite a good producer for me too. So thumbs up on that. And the elephant's trunk, another one that's really heavy producer, but it's probably one of my least favorite for flavor that I've ever had. Really bitter, really tough skin, and I don't know, just not very good. Cheyennes continue to grow. Big clump of them, I'm trying to keep them out of the dirt, but not entirely successful. And the Pero sweet peppers. There's a quite a few pods on these now too. A lot of them are down low. See? A clump of them right there. They're steadily growing. And the Hungarian black, those are getting big. And there's quite a few of them now. So, cool on that. Around here, purple UFOs continue to get big. Actually, they're getting quite big, some of these. Still producing flowers. Not as many, but good to go. Purple cayennes. And the second plant is thrown on quite a few now. Congo orange. Continuing to throw out a few big pods. There's some anomalous shaped ones like I showed last week. Like this one just looks like a habanero. But most of them have this pointy shape and they they point upwards. So I'm guessing that's the true shape and just a few weird crosses happened. I had a lot of bees out here, so there's a flower on my what I think is a chocolate foot. Hopefully I'll get to figure out before the end of the season. Apaches coming along still. 
not ripe yet, but in Manzano, there's a pod forming. Hopefully that'll stick around. Got a few more flowers getting ready to open up here. It's vastly improved since I brought it back from my mom's. Another one here that's done really well in the last week is my Bishop's Crown. Look at these now. They've got that characteristic shape to them. Kind of looks like somebody took a pepper that was made out of clay and just kind of smushed it on some flat surface. Got a really nice, cool shape to them. Ajicitos. Look at these. They look like a wax pepper or a wax bean. My neighbor said look, they look like a bean, so... But these are producing quite well now, and tons of flowers opening up, so thumbs up. Oh, we got a guardian here. I'm going to give her a wide berth. I think she might be seeking out some predatory insects. Oh, she's... No, maybe not. Okay. So, seeds again, two fifteen hundreds, clumping up a big group of pods right here. Still no ripening, but, and then finally, red seven pots, looking good. There's quite a few of them on here now, and they're steadily getting bigger. So, I will see you at my other locations in a few minutes here. Well, a few seconds for you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. We are up on the bluff. I got my Rakoto still kicking, but not doing much. Apache's got a lot of pods, but again, it's not really doing much. Bird pepper, not doing anything. Not even any buds. Latina yellow, got another big pod on this plant. Hopefully, nothing will chew on this one. Uh, nursery habanero's got some pods on it. Uh, where's the big boy? Here we go. Hopefully that one will ripen soon. And teal. It's about the same. So, there we go. Well, I'll see you at the other locale at my mom's. Okay, here we are. Final location. My mom's. Uh, the plants are starting to recover from that fungus they had, uh, but still not many peppers. It's not not good enough soil. Um, the quinos are starting to ripen. They're ripening a little faster than mine. I think the sun's a little more intense out here. Lemon drop, got tons of growth, but none of the pod, hardly any pods on it. First of all, and they're not ripening at all. Monkey face does not have any pods on it. R.E.B.B. Gusano's got quite a few. That's one of the better producers. Ahisito's uh, getting a few on it now. So, thumbs up on that. Cantina Yellow's actually got a pod growing up under here. Lemon Drop is absolutely massive. Put it, look it next to my leg. I'll step over that. I had to retreat these cucumbers because they're encroaching. Um, Bishop's Crown. Oh, sorry, this is the Aki Crystal. Uh, it does have some small pods on it. Nothing major yet, as far as I could see. But it's got a lot of flowers, so this one might produce pretty well at the end. CGN 21500, not a pod on it that I found. Bishop's Crown's got some cool looking ones over here. Getting kind of big. Not very many of them, but there's still some pods, so thumbs up. White butt. It's got a few decent sized pods in here, though they don't look at all like butts. They look just like a uh, some sort of elongated chinens, but definitely not a butt. Red 7. Got a couple flowers, and that's about it. Jamaican, not doing much, and it's still kind of sickly. And, oh, that's the Red 7. Maruga looking a lot better as far as the plant goes. I might take that home and overwinter it. I don't know. Peach butt. Got some smaller pods on it. Actually, this one's pretty good size. Might have been crossed by the looks of it. Actually, the peach, a couple of the peach butts pods. The ones at my house look a lot truer to form. Nagabon is doing pretty well. Got quite a few pods on it. 
that one in the bikino in the uh, brain fart. Oh, the turtle's claw are doing the best. So, and here's the yellow bullet. Not really doing much. A couple small, small pods. Um, to same thing. Not really much. There's a few smaller pods down here. Nothing even coming close to ripening. Cheyenne still kicking out with these eight to ten good sized pods, but nothing ripening. Tasmanian Red's looking a lot better. It bounced back quite nicely. And that's it. So, I'll see everybody next week.